about to ask you that. What are you doing here, just laying on the ground? I... Uh, I'm not really sure it's a... Uh, I... Uh, can't... Um, remember. Can't remember? What do you mean? Oh no, not you too! So I guess it really is what it looks like? I lost my fucking magic. Well, at least that explains the migraines. Damn it! I knew I should have been more observant! What do you mean? It's not like y'all could have done anything to stop this. It's just like with both other times. No, I could have done something about this. If I had just been here faster... Wait, you're speaking like you knew this was gonna happen. Because I did. I found out who the magic thief is. And it isn't T-Rex, or anyone from Equestria for that matter. You found it out? Huh? When? When she stole my magic. Really? Then who was it? I'm afraid I was right about my suspicion. I myself couldn't believe it when I saw it after I followed her home. But when she noticed me, she immediately turned on her heels and pointed something at me. The very same second I could feel myself trapped in a tight grip, helplessly watching my magic essence get absorbed into her hand. This pronoun game is really fucking annoying, you know that? I mean, you must know that just like the others, I have lost a noticeable chunk of my memories. Who did it? Oh yeah, right. Okay, sorry. But prepare yourself for a revelation that might deeply shock and confuse the shit out of you. For me, it certainly did. Spill the fucking beans already! Alright, it really is Rainbow Dash. She's the one stealing our magic. Uh, what? Rainbow Dash, really? But, but why? How the fuck does that make any sense? Why her? I wish I could tell you, but I also have no idea. Like I said, I wasn't any less bewildered when I realized that it must have been her all along who was robbing our powers. But I don't understand any of this. Why would she do that? How does she do it? And how come y'all can still remember her while I can't? This is all just so hella confusing. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can answer only one of your questions. I neither know why she is doing any of this, nor do I understand why I happened to keep my memory of this event. Maybe it was because I tried really hard to fight it and broke free in the very last moments before it was complete. So y'all saying the rest of us were just too weak to resist this memory wipe? No. I don't even know if that was the case. I just tried to make sense of something I myself hardly understand. But one thing I at least found out during all this, besides the identity of our thief, that being how she does this magic stealing trick. And how does she do it? Is she not actually the real Dash? Is she maybe some sort of change or whatever who took her form? No, or rather, if that is the case, then we don't know that for sure because I didn't see any sign of that, but I saw the method she uses to steal magic. Some technological device that sort of looks like a talisman or a pocket watch she wore it around her neck. When she opened it, my magic was drained from my body into the device. I couldn't do anything to resist. Only when she closed it did it let me go of its grip. Hold on. This sounds real fucking familiar. Didn't Twilight use that same kind of device when she first came here? You know, during the Friendship Games movie, she was wearing a similar talisman device that she used to track signs of magic. Oh yes, I remember. The back then, if I recall correctly, that magic absorbing wasn't an intended function. This time, however, very much seemed like it. So what does all that mean now? Did Rainbow now steal Twilight's plans for this device and recreate it by herself? Or is she maybe working together with Twilight? Because I honestly would find it unlikely that Dash of all people would be able to build a magic sucking thingamajig. Maybe, but we would also have found it unlikely that she would be the one who's behind all this. <sighs> I'm sorry I wasn't here fast enough to stop her from stealing your magic as well. Oh, don't beat yourself up about it. You did try. That's more than can be said about my other friends. And just because you couldn't save me doesn't mean it was all in vain. I mean, at least now we know who's behind this. Though I still can't really believe it. Trust me, neither can I. But we can't let this keep going. I mean, who knows what she might ultimately be planning with all this. There must be a reason she is collecting all this magic, though I honestly cannot imagine why someone like Rainbow would need that much magic. Or resort to villainy in the first place. It all just seems so. Out of character for lack of a better expression. Well, there's only one thing we really can do now if we're gonna find some answers. We go and put a stop to our rainbow-haired thief. And once we got a hold of her, we question the hell out of her. There has to be an at least somewhat logical reason for this. Otherwise, this plot twist with Rainbow being the villain out of nowhere would really be a poor attempt to at create in suspension. All right, Sunset, where do you think would Rainbow go now? Hmm, this isn't that simple to say. I mean, we don't even know if she's working alone. Though, now that I think about it, it does actually seem pretty obvious. With you, she now has absorbed the magic of all members of our group, except that of Twilight. 
so it would only be logical that her next step would be heading straight to her. And if it turns out they really are working together, then she still would go to her, because then her work would be finished. I doubt that in that case. Simply absorbing the magic would have been the end of it. Who knows what they might be up to. If Twilight really isn't on it, then we might be facing a potential return of Midnight Sparkle. Or something even worse. Holy shit, that doesn't sound all too inviting. So I guess the times are over when we simply could sit idly by, waiting for the plot to unfold. Now it looks like we need to jump into action. That's right, we have yet a chance to put a stop to this, if we're quick enough, so here's my plan. I'll call Twilight and find out where she is. Since Rainbow didn't notice that I kept my memory, Twilight should have no reason to lie to me about that, even if she isn't on it. Meanwhile, you gather the rest of our friends and bring them with you when you come to meet me. I'll text you the location where Twilight will be. Okay, so far so good. And then? Then, we'll have to see how this turns out. Our foremost objective is to get a hold of this device Rainbow is wielding. Okay, but we need to be careful. Especially you should understand why we can't allow for that magic to be unleashed. The last thing we need to come from this confrontation is yet another magical demon girl. That's a word, AJ. Alright, then let's go. See you later, and good luck! And that, Twilight, is the reason I started working out. Uh, what? What do you mean, what? You tell me! You just started talking out of nowhere. What did you expect when you literally sat next to me for nearly five minutes just silently typing on your phone? And when you finally do open your mouth, you're making it sound like we're way at the end of some topic. When did you decide that we were apparently having a conversation? Uh, about two minutes ago. So I guess I didn't actually say out loud what I was typing in my exercising journal. At least that explains why you never answered me. Uh, yeah? What were you thinking? Even you can't be that dense. Well, honestly, I'm not. In fact, you're the one who's acting dense right now. This could have very well been a great start for this new scene, making it all seem really organic and natural, like we were really just having a talk up until now. Scene, what are you talking about? The robot is sketch. In case you didn't notice, the camera's right there. Huh? Since when? Just now. So instead of a nice, natural-sounding dialogue, the viewers got to hear how you completely messed up your part. Good thing this is still mostly a comedy. You could have warned me about the camera moving here, instead of just quietly sitting there like an asshole and allowing it to happen. Where even are we right now, and why are we here? I don't know, some bench somewhere in the city park. And we're here because this is where the story will take its next step. And that step requires only me and you? Apparently so. Hmm, I don't know about this. I've got a bad feeling something's not right here. You know what I mean, when your guts tell you of immediate danger. Danger? Well, whatever danger you're sensing, I'm entirely deaf to it. Because I don't feel a thing. I can't put my finger on it. It's Twilight! Huh? Get away from her, Twi! Run, darling! Run for your magic! Stop standing there like an idiot! Hey! What the hell is going on? What are you doing running at us like crazed maniacs screaming bloody murder that I can't even understand a single word you're saying? Wow! Hey! What the fuck? Get back, Twilight! Don't go near her! What's even going on? What gives? Is it too late? Do you still have your magic? How do you feel? What? My magic? Uh, I think so. Why? Wait, are you saying that- Yeah! We just saved your purple ass, Twilight! She's the thief! Holy shit! What? Uh, hello? What the fuck are you talking about? Me? The thief? That's gotta be the most ridiculous thing I ever heard! Do you all seriously believe I'm the one who stole all the magic? Yeah, sure. And how exactly did I do that? We're about to find out. Quickly grab her. If we're lucky, she hasn't made use of it yet. Hey, now hold on a second. You can't just assume something and then get all grabby. Hey, that's sexual harassment. Let go of me. Damn it, you fucking morons. It's not me. Let go. Shut it, Dash. Keep fighting all your life. I might have lost my super strength, but don't forget that I always was the stronger athlete. Not that it would make a difference, darling. She could be twice as strong as you and still be helpless. Don't take all the credit for holding her at bay. It's literally all four of us. Yeah, but I'm doing most of the work. Get off your fucking pedestal with that one wrist you're attempting to hold. Hey guys, we maybe stop arguing. This blue bitch is squirming like a mule. We gotta focus. She's right. We can't let her go. Oh, you are so damn stupid. How the fuck did you get the stupid idea that it was me? Huh? How? That doesn't make no fucking sense. Oh, be quiet, Dash. It's too late to play dumb. We caught you red-handed. Or did you not meet with Twilight here to steal her magic as well? What? No! That's totally stupid! Who gave you this fucking delusion? If you wanna know, it was Sunset Shimmer. Y'all should've made sure she had also lost her memory when you drained her magic. 
but she retained it, and she very clearly remembers you stealing it. Well, then she remembers wrong because I didn't. All right, I see we're getting nowhere with this. So I guess we need to find another way to clarify this, if she doesn't want to confess. Like what? How about her bag? If she was planning to steal your magic, maybe she was carrying that device with her. Mm, yeah, that sounds kind of logical. Okay, keep her in place. I'm gonna search through her things. Hey, what the hell? Dude, you can't just go through my backpack. That's fucking private. Hmm, all right, let's see. A step tracker, two cans of red ox, a syringe of some unidentified substance. That's just the COVID vaccine. Uh, sure. Okay, some earbuds, a Playboy magazine because Rainbow Dash obviously likes girls. Real creative, by the way. And lastly, and, and oh my god. What's wrong? Why'd you stop? Did you find something? I sure as hell did. Look! What? Oh, oh, an exclamation of disbelief! Well, Rainbow Dash, looks like this leaves not much room for misinterpretations, does it? What? But, but, but that can't be! Where the fuck did that come from? Come on, guys, you gotta believe me! That's not mine! I have no idea how they got in there! I'm not the thief! Look, Dash, I'd really want to believe you, but we just found the fucking device in your bag! Ain't getting much more obvious than that! I know! But I didn't do it! I simply didn't! Seriously, girls! Do you really believe that I would be stealing your magic? What reason would I have to do that? What would I even get out of that? That's what we're here to find out. So what is it, Sunset? Is that the device that was used to steal our magic? It certainly does look like it. But you're the inventor, Twilight. Is that your device? Hmm... It is. But it's not the same one I used. This one's been modified. Modified? In what way? It doesn't just activate when magic is being used. This one is able to spot magic inside a host at any time. Though something seems off about it. What do you mean? The device says that Rainbow Dash doesn't have magic inside her anymore. Really? Let me see. Hmm, you're right, Twilight. See? Why should I steal my own magic? That alone doesn't have to mean anything. You might as well have gotten careless at one point and accidentally drained your own magic. We know this device doesn't let go once it's hooked. What I find weird is that the device is actually picking up two signals. One pointing at me, but the other one is showing magic coming from you? Me? <sighs> so now who's the one most likely? What even rules her out of the question? She was the one who searched my bag! Who's to say she didn't herself bring that device here and put it in there so she could find it? What? Oh please, that is absolutely ridiculous! Still, this device is showing a stable reading coming from you. And Rainbow Dash seemingly has no magic left. Well, you yourself said this device was modified. Who knows, maybe Dash somehow manipulated it to show false readings. Because she knew that sooner or later she'd be found out to throw us off and create division with false suspicions. Um, I don't know, Sunset. That sounds like a really far stretch. On the other hand, we can't know nothing for sure. All we do know is that we found that magic stealing device in your possession, or D. And even if you were telling the truth, we can't take any risks. So, um, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to comply. Comply with what? Hey, stop it! No, no, stop! Untie me at once! You've all lost your minds! Maybe, but like she said, the risk is too high to be taken. We're better safe than sorry. You'd be saying the same if you were in our position. I am in your position, because I didn't do shit! All right, you all, so now what do we do with her? And more importantly, what do we do with this? Hmm, concerning the device, we need to find a way to release the magic contained within it. It is clear we can't just open it, for obvious reasons you and me both know firsthand. But even though this thing is more advanced than my version, I can see it is definitely inspired by my plans. So you're saying you can dismantle it and release the magic in a controlled manner? I don't know, it's what I'm hoping for. But I'll need to be extremely careful, and therefore you can expect that I should take a while with it. What do we do with her? I mean, if she really is the thief, we can't just allow her to walk freely. Or can we? How much of a threat is she without that device? I for one would rather not take any risks. If you all wouldn't mind, I could offer my basement as a sort of temporary holding cell. It's big enough that she won't feel all too pinched in, and I can guarantee that she won't be able to escape it. Especially if I'm keeping guard. Well, isn't that some nice fucking character arc? From being a prisoner in jail yourself to becoming a warden. Yeah, totally no villainous irony behind that. I don't know, this doesn't feel right. Can we really just lock her up? Well, she's already tied up. Seems actually like the next logical step. Oh my god, you all are making me wish I actually was the thief. That way I could at least feel some satisfaction in knowing that I took your magic. I'll take that as a confession. Nah, of course you fucking do. Alrighty then, so it's settled. Sunset, you'll take Rainbow home with you and lock her in your basement like a good law-abiding citizen. Meanwhile, Twilight takes this thingamajig and tries to disarm it or something. Sounds about right. And what are the rest of us going to do? Beats me. 
We likely won't make an appearance in the next episode, so up until the finale, we've got some time off. Let's make the best of that. Come on, y'all. Can we now maybe go to the zoo? But Fluttershy, you're still banned from there. Plus, you're not attracted to the animals anymore. Will you even feel comfortable there? There's no shame in trying. Okay, Twilight, I guess I should also get going. Good luck with the device. And remember, be careful. Midnight Sparkle was hard enough to defeat when we still had our magic. Ha ha ha. I'll try to remember laughing next time. No, but seriously, I hope you're successful. I can't imagine what would have happened if we didn't find out it was her. Oh yeah, you totally found me out. It's not like you're wasting your time arresting someone completely innocent. No. Huh. <sighs> you do you, I guess. Oh, shut up. See you later, Twilight. Bye, and good luck to you as well. Hmm, call me crazy, but something doesn't add up. All right, get down there. Behind this door is where you'll spend the remainder of the series. Come on, you cannot be serious about this. You know it wasn't me, don't you? Hmm, do I? Well, yes, I do. I knew it! So why did you set me up like that? Oh, the usual. Covering tracks, giving the audience a culprit to punish, making preparations for my big finale. If you didn't by now guess at Rainbow Dash, you were right about what you said. Yes, I am the thief. And I did place the device in your bag to frame you. What? But... but why? To finally, after all these years that I was denied it, take what should have been mine ages ago. I know this must all sound really convoluted to you, since you fool probably think of me as having lived through some sort of redemption arc or some dumb shit. Ah! I was never redeemed! And now, with your friends all thinking the threat is gone, their guard will fall completely. It won't be long, and I'll finally have Twilight's magic as well. Then, there will be no stopping me! I shall rule all of Equestria! <laughs> Equestria? What the fuck are you saying? As much as I would love to give you some exposition dump, I'm running short on patience for your idiocy. Have her explain you the rest. Ta-ta! Hey, hey, come back! We're not finished yet! What's gotten into you, Sunset? Why are you doing this? I thought you were reformed! I was, Rainbow Dash. Hey, what, Sunset? She, however, was not. But, but, but you, but, but she is, uh, what?